settling down. Please remain standing. Titus, shh. Please remain standing for the national anthem. A reminder that the Australian national anthem is an important national symbol of Australia and should be treated with respect and dignity. All Australians are encouraged to sing the Australian national anthem. Please be seated. I would like to pay my respects and acknowledge the traditional custodians of this land on which this meeting takes place and pay my respects to elders both past and present. Good morning, Mr. Elgood, staff and students. I would like to extend my warm welcome to, the to today's presentation, Assembly. My name is Titus Chernsri, and I'll be your chair for today's Assembly. Today, we come to together as a school community to acknowledge the outstanding academic, sporting, and community achievements of students at Homebush Boys High School. I wish to congratulate our award recipients for taking a strong hold of the opportunities that have led to your achievements today. We are proud of you. We also acknowledge the efforts of many of you seated here. Although you may not be receiving an award today, the many Triple B and Blue and Maroon awards that have been issued throughout the year are a testament to your hard work, improvement and dedication. Congratulations to you all. I encourage all students here to strive to even greater heights in 2021. Read your school reports carefully, take on board your teacher's feedback and set, set yourselves new goals for the beginning of next year. Once again, congratulations to all of today's award recipients. I now invite the principal, Mr. Elgood, to address the assembly. Good morning, boys. This year we're doing things a lot differently because we have to. It's been a year where there's been a lot of things that are different. So today, instead of having a normal presentation day with the whole school and with parents and the community, we need to do them in year assemblies only. It's great that we still get to acknowledge your efforts, the efforts of those who have excelled throughout the year, but a shame that we can't, can't celebrate with the whole community. And in saying that, can I welcome our parents and community members who are watching online to a very unusual version of presentation day as we do it year by year. As I said, this year has been a strange year, has been an unusual year. It's been a, an unusual year for the whole world. I think we can count ourselves fortunate that we are in Australia and that we've been affected, or probably not affected to a significant degree by the COVID pan pandemic. As a school, we had a very short period of about four to five weeks where we, we went to online learning. And that was a big change. It's the first time that has ever happened in the history of education in Australia. And it was a big change. But since coming back fully in week five of term two, school here has con continued pretty well as normal, 
except for the fact that we haven't been able to do outside excursions and we haven't been able to get outside people come in to present. But apart from that, when I walk around the school and look at classes, it's great to see learning taking place as normal. But in saying that, I know it's been tough for everybody because we've had various restrictions, periods where we've isolated more than normal and periods where we just haven't been able to see family and friends or go out as much as we would have. So in that way, it's probably going to be a year that we'll never forget. But as year comes to again, comes to an end, things are already looking brighter. Watching the um, 2020 test game last night, unfortunately one of our old boys, Mitchell Stark, wasn't playing and maybe that was the difference between us winning and losing. Who knows? But at least it was great to see the crowd at the SCG where there were no restrictions on crowd numbers. And, and looking forward for us over the Christmas break and over the new year, hopefully that'll be a continuing sign of change where things do become freer. Maybe we'll have to wait a while longer for overseas travel. Today, though, we come together as a school community to celebrate the achievements, the achievements of some students who have excelled, but to celebrate the achievements of everybody here over the year and as a way of wrapping up those achievements for the whole year. We have many highlights this year. We still had excellent achievements academically in the sporting field, even though that's been restricted, in creative and performing arts, with n numerous numbers of our artworks being displayed in Art Express and in community service. And today we're recognising some of the students who have excelled in particular in one or more of those areas. I look forward to, I look forward to 2021 for a number of reasons. There will be changes. We're looking at a new support unit and today I spent a while down on, on the um, western grass looking at the placement of that new support unit which will start at the beginning of next year. And you'll hear a lot more about that coming up soon. We're also looking at a major project upgrade for the school and hopefully more will be announced on that soon but I'm looking forward to some work starting hopefully early next year to upgrade some of our facilities, particularly the library. As we draw close to the end of this year, there's a lot of people I'd like to thank who continually make the achievements and success possible here at Homebush Boys High School. I'd like to start with the staff. I feel extremely proud to work in a school full of skilled, committed, dedicated staff who go be above and beyond the call of duty every, every single day, particularly in this time of COVID earlier in the year. No matter what it is, whether it's, whether it's in your class, whether it's with sport, whether it's with extracurricular activities, the staff here are exceptional in what they do. And boys, I'd like to put your hands together just to say thank you for all of your teachers that are represented here. And can I say, can I say a special thank you to Ms Cortino, Ms Napoli, who has supported her as Assistant Year Advisor, and, and to the deputies that have supported you this year, Mr Ahmed, who left us earlier this term, and Mr Howard, who is leaving us at the end of this year, um, both to pick up substantive deputies' jobs in other schools. I say congratulations to both of them and thank them for, for their support. I'd like to say a special thank you to the organisation of today, to Ms Vodanovic, Ms Napoli and the whole team who have put together um, this event as it is five times because there are five assemblies to, to acknowledge the excellent achievement of you and your peers in, in the assemblies. And I think it's a, it's a true representative of the amount of work and effort that the staff in this school do in going above and beyond to, every, to pay attention to every single detail. So thank you, Ms Bidanovic and the team. I'd like to thank all the parents, and uh, hopefully there are quite a number that are watching this later on, um, for the tremendous support that you continually give us, and it has a significant impact on your son's performance. Acknowledging, valuing, and advocating for the importance of education really makes a massive difference, has, has a ma massive effect on the application we see in the classroom. I thank you for your continued support throughout the year. And boys, most importantly, 
I thank you for the, for the effort, the application that you have put in throughout the year. And as I look around, I see some absolutely fantastic people in front of me. And I've taught in quite a number of schools, but when I look around at this group of students, as I do in the school, I see the potential for you to perform as well as any student in this day, to achieve highly and, and achieve success. And boys, that's what I'm hoping for you as you leave in a few years' time, to work on the success. For those, for those who've worked really hard this year, some of you will be rewarded, some of you won't. Some people work hard every single day and don't get awards. But be assured that your teachers recognise that and they appreciate that. And so do your parents. And I thank you for that effort. For the boys who haven't worked quite as hard as they could have, it's a big opportunity, boys, a new year in 2021 to make up for that and start making that effort. Because as you go from year eight to year nine, it starts to get more serious. You start to work towards your future. You're no longer little young boys that are coming into high school. You're now young men building your future. And boys, as you move into year nine and as you start to, to get bigger, so do your studies. They start to ramp up. I'm looking forward to a great year next year in 2021. This is probably the last opportunity I'll get to see all of you together before the end of the year, so I'd like to take this opportunity to wish you and your families a happy, a safe and a fun holiday break. And I look forward to the challenges and rewards of working with you next year in 2021 and beyond. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Elgood. Ade Kan Kanajanva and Austin Hui will now perform our first mu musical item.
Thank you, Ade and Osun, for that wonderful performance. Now we welcome the Year 8 Year Advisor, Ms. Catino, to address the Assembly. This will be followed by presentations of awards to be read by Ms. Catino and presented by Mr. Elgood. During the awards presentation, we ask to hold your applause until the end. Hi, uh, good afternoon um, to all fellow staff, to Year 8 students and any parents and guardians watching from home. So I'll just start by saying that we made it. So what a year 2020 has been, uh, from lockdowns to online learning to waves of social change worldwide, it's been a year to remember to say the least. So I know this year has been far from normal for anyone and probably not the year that you guys ever imagined for your second year of high school. Uh, it's been tough in so many ways, but you've made it through, and I'm so proud of each of you for everything that you've accomplished this year. I know that this year hasn't been easy, but each of you in your own way have shown me just how strong and resilient you are and how you can adapt to change and tackle anything that life throws at you. You boys have made me feel so fortunate and privileged to be your year advisor. So here we are for presentation day 2020, and although it may seem a little different to previous years with parents watching from home and it's just our cohort present, it really is just as special. If anything, it's even more special because we know how hard it's been this year to reach this endpoint. Today we're here to celebrate the many successes that Year 8 students have achieved this year. I wish to congratulate all award recipients today for taking a stronghold of all the opportunities that have led to your achievements today. Students are being recognised across various academic pursuits, the sporting field, creative and performing arts, and many other areas where our students have been able to demonstrate their talents and leadership skills. I'm so proud of each and every one of you. Whilst not all of you may be formally recognised at today's presentation day, I know that you've each progressed so very much this year, both academically, socially, and mentally. And for that, you should all be really proud of yourself, just as I am of you. On that note, I wish you all a very happy, safe and restful holiday and I uh, trust that 2021 will provide some more exciting opportunities and successes. Um, so now it's my pleasure to announce the award winners for 2020. These awards will be presented by Mr Elgood. Okay, boys, so we'll just remember that the applause can stay at till the end. Okay, so we're going to start with our academic awards. So first in English, Doi Min Tai at the end. First in maths, Gurik Sal. First in geography, Jin Wan Lin. First in PDHPE, Philip Illick. First in visual arts, Christopher Z. First in music, Osun Hui. First in agriculture and food technology. First in electronics, Arpik Mitra. First in material technologies medal, Nyo Ko. First in Material Technologies Timber, Michael Ayub. Equal first in Chinese, Li Tang Ko Duong. Christopher Kim. Oscar Kim. Nihan Rashid. And Maya Van Rathan Tervis. First in Science and first in Digital Technology Coding, Liam Ta. First in history and first in year eight, Rashik Vinakota. Well done, Rashik. 
Okay, so now for some special awards. Um, so we're just going to start with there's five year advisors awards. So these are a special award, uh, award that recognizes the dedication and contributions of some of our students through many areas of their school life and within the community. So these students have shown great initiative, leadership skills and citizenship. So the winners for these awards are Osun Hui. Michael Ong Schofield, Richik Vinakota, and William Zhu. Okay, um, so now we have some sporting awards as well. So, best and fairest for 14's tennis, Maj Kabutli. Best and fairest for 14's basketball, James Knight. And now we have the Commonwealth Parliamentarian's Merit Award for Community Contribution, and the award goes to William Zhu. Okay, and we have some special Korean awards as well. So it's Outstanding Achievement in Korean Language Study. So these awards go to Selesh Arunantha, Shanmuk Doka, uh, boys, just remember, just at the end, so just silent. Okay, Dane Peritet. David Vu. And Kai Wei Wang. Okay, boys, and now a round of applause for all of our winners of 2020.
Thank you, Junior Jazz Ensemble. I would like to invite Athav Ramakant and Philip Illich, your SRC representatives, to address the assembly. Good afternoon, Year 8. 2020 has been a challenging yet rewarding year where students and teachers have overcome many obstacles to succeed in their academic, sporting, and extracurricular pursuits. Students and staff at Homebush Boys High School have worked hard to uphold our school motto, upright and strong. With every challenge met, our teachers and students have worked hard throughout this year to continue to show what it means to be part of the Bushy Boy community. Firstly, we would like to briefly talk about remote learning, which we've experienced for a short period of time, and we were, we are, were able to overcome quickly and effectively. We managed to pull through and achieve great results, both at school and at home. This was due to the time and patience and devotion our teachers gave to our work and learning. All in all, our strength and adaptability to any situation or difficulties presented to us was outstanding and because of this, we have all become stronger. I would like to thank all the teachers, support staff, deputy principals, and Mr. Elgood for their dedication they have shown to the learning and well-being of all students at Homebush Boys High School. Throughout this year, we have seen many academic and extracurricular activities thr thrive. The Environment Club contributed to cleaning our community and even earning some money through Return and Earn program. Our school's musical music programs have also thrived with the drum crews performing on a number of assemblies including the year 12 graduation. The jazz ensemble and rock band which predominantly feature year 8 students have also been performing at multiple assemblies in significant school events such as this one. Interact Club has also continued to vol their volunteer work to ensure that many charities and communities initiatives, initiatives are able to grow and prosper. The SRC and prefects continue to support and raise awareness for a variety of important causes, most recently including Mental Health Month, Men's Mental Health Month and November. Thank you to all the teachers and students who have led these important programs and have improved the learning and well-being of students at our school. We would like to end our speech by congratulating all students who have received awards at today's presentation ceremony. The dedication you have shown to your academic, sporting and extracurricular pursuits is inspiring and we and we hope that you continue to grow and become the very best you can be. Congratulations, Year 8. We hope that 2021 is just as rewarding and success successful as this year. Thank you, Athav and Philip. That concludes today's Year 8 presentation assembly. On behalf of the prefects of Homebush Boys High School, I would like to wish you a safe and happy holiday. Thank you. Please, please stand for the exit of the official party. <laughs>